Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a default auto map library that allows you to save descriptions and new descriptions that you've created across multiple jobs. So what I'm going to do to begin here is you can see I've just got the Field Genius sample job open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Settings, scroll down here, and click the Auto Map Library. And you can see here that I got all the descriptions that I can give to different points. And just like I've shown in other videos, and anytime you're going to create a new point, you can add a new description to this library. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click Add at the bottom, and I'm going to call this Number 1. Uh, period auto map and I'm just going to do this so it appears right at the top of my description list so it's easier to find later on in the video and once I've created this description name I'm going to hit OK and then it's going to ask me for the attributes of this point so I'm going to hit the symbol here and from the options I'm just going to choose a solid circle for the heck of it here why not and then for my color I'll choose green because again why not let's keep it nice and fun and I'm going to hit OK there in the bottom left corner here. And you can see now at the top that I have this auto map point created. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the check mark. And if I go to the plumb bob in the bottom left corner here and hit my project manager, and then I just open up any old point. So I'm going to go to my restore deleted job here. And this was a video that I created uh, last a couple weeks ago that was how to restore deleted points in a job. Um, but if I go to this job here, and now I head to my description library again, so I go settings and then scroll down and go to my auto map library, you can see that I don't have that point that I just created, that point description I just created in the previous job. It's not here. So in order to create new descriptions that I can save across jobs, what I actually need to do is when I'm creating a job, I need to point to my master auto map library. So what I'm going to do here is I'm now going to go create a new job. So I'm going to hit Plum Bob, Project Manager here, and then I'm going to hit New Project, and I'm going to give my project a name here. In this case, I'm just going to call it Auto Map. And then if I hit my Project Settings here, what I'm going to want to choose is Project Files from the next menu. And then at the bottom there, you can see that there's two options. There's my active raw file. I'm going to leave that untouched. If you want to know how to change your raw file, I'm going to link to a video in the top right corner on doing that and how to reprocess a job. But in this case, I'm actually only going to change my auto map. So you can see here right now, my project is the survey.csv auto map library. So that is my default auto map library. That's the one that Field Genius created. It's going to have all those descriptions that we saw previously in that restore deleted job. But what I'm going to want to do is next to where it says use template, there are three dots. So I'm going to hit those three dots there. And then you can see here that I'm going to go find the job that I was in. So I knew I was creating those points in my just default Field Genius job. So the Field Genius sample, you can do this in any job. If you want to create one master job that you just edit your point description, you can do that. You can also just edit the CSV file and then put it on a folder on your desktop or put it anywhere on the computer that you can just point to. In this case, I'm just going to use the one that I created in the Field Genius sample. So you can see here there's a Field Genius sample CSV, and then the one I was editing was the Field Genius sample underscore auto map. So I'm going to select that option there and click open. And you can now see that my project auto map, instead of saying survey.csv, now says Field Genius sample underscore auto map. So the one thing that I'm going to just point out here is next to where it says use template, there's that little checkbox. As long as that checkbox is checked, it's always when you create a new job going to point to that auto map library. So the next time I go to create a job, this field genius sample underscore auto map is going to be the selected auto map library. If I don't want it to be, it's only for this job that I want that auto map library to be checked you're going to have to go and change back on the next job. But for this case, I'm just going to leave that as is and hit continue in the bottom here. And then I'm going to hit OK and OK. And that brings me back to my map screen here. And again, if I go Plum Bob settings and then scroll down to the bottom here, I'm going to go to my auto map library. And now you can see that in this new job that I've created, that description that I created at the beginning of this video, that one period auto map description is now at the very top of my list where I put it in that previous job. And that is how I can create a master auto map library in Field Genius that I can then use in all of my different jobs. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, or you have any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel or website, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.